highlights now. Race number 18 of the championship. Seems like a long time ago that they got this one started. 200 Ks, 70 laps, and tried to go around the outside again at turn two, did David Reynolds. And there was a bit of nonsense at the back of the pack. There was trouble between Simona Di Silvestro and Michael Caruso. And there was also a problem for Richie Stanaway. I think Garth Tander was involved in that one, and both of them were penalised as a result. 15 second penalties. First round of stops. And as usual, there were variations in the fuel strategies. But one of the things that was interesting was that they managed to shuffle Scott McLaughlin back up the order, who at one stage was buried as far down as 11th in the field. By fiddling the fuel and managing the tyres, they were able to get track position back and at least minimise their risk and got some points back in the bag and got a trophy this afternoon. Some traffic effect late in the day and uh, Shane Van Gisbergen was just hounding, hounding, hounding the back of Jamie Wincup and uh, there was a six lap variation in the age of their tyres. Shane was able to take advantage of that situation and he had a little bit of fuel in hand and then despite the fact that he had to feed out with some traffic with Garth Tander, that was the margin at the second stop. So he was home comfortably from there. Then along came a safety car as a result of the contact between Anton Di Pasquale and Michael Caruso into turn 11. That's going to be investigated now after this race in greater detail. So Di Pasquale was having a lunge down the inside. Caruso covered him, but he was clear of the other car. That'll be taken into account. So we had a short, sharp blast to the end. Unfortunately, Will Davison didn't make it to the end of this race in the Milwaukee Falcon contact with James Golding, and that's something that'll be looked into in greater detail at the back end of this one as well. So it's a hearty congratulations this afternoon to Shane Van Gisbergen. His third victory in the 2018 season, and he's closed the margin down first to second to a 131 gap. Next up, Queensland Raceway.